Um, and, and so I think that kind of the ability to roll up and, and be a multi-chain or, or chain agnostic is, is huge. And, you know, the XRP ledger, you know, you guys are going to be continually upgrading, scaling and, and changing there. Um, but, but, you know, the ability to be, you know, cross compatible with, with other assets and tokens, I think is, is where we're going is this multi-chain future. Cause when you go to a website, you know, it's, it's generally pulling from multiple servers, you know, multiple da- databases to, to resolve a, a single image or a single page. Um, and I think that that's going to be a lot of what we're going to see here in the near future is that, you know, there is no one chain to rule them all. Um, like Swift, you know, you were kind of like, yep, either, either you're a bank and you use Swift or you're just not in, uh, you're, you're not included in the financial system. So I, I think you're entirely right. We're going to see a lot of, you know, evolutions. We've already proven, you know, a, a tokenized JPEG, <clears throat> you know, that of the concept of digital scarcity can be worth tens of millions of dollars and hold the value and be able to trade as a financial instrument. Um, whether that's legal or, or even anyone cares, I, it, it's a great alpha test to showcase now we're ready to start beta testing. You know what, what we're talking about today, which is real world assets, real title, and start moving from you know millions and billions to hundreds of trillions of dollars into blockchain technology. Hundred percent, couldn't agree more. What do you 